Hello everyone, I'm Salad, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Last time, we defeated Malaketh, which was pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. And now we've got this whole sandy version of the city to take a look at. The whole, the whole sandy version of Lindell. Before I do that, though, um, I did get a comment telling me that there is a side quest line, something about Var of the Lakes or something like that. Um, I'd like to look into that first thing since that's apparently a short quest but is a little bit interesting so i th i'm assuming that's going to be somewhere around here i'm going to try to figure that out and i guess i'll just get back to you guys when i find something or don't find something i'll probably end up looking it up at least the first step of how to get this quest started and yeah that's what we're going to start with today and once we're done with that i guess we'll see where we go from there what's this about Bird's eye telescope? I don't know how that works. <laughs> you can explain to me how the physics works on this kind of telescope that teleports your view way up into the air, but and lets you look 360 degrees. I mean, it is pretty cool, but uh, I don't think that's what I'm here for. Um, but I did see on one of the walkthroughs that there's like a side of grace over here with some uh, NPCs near it. So that's where I'm headed, and hopefully I find NPCs? I think I'm supposed to, like, find a church, and there's supposed to be an NPC near a church that will let me start the quest? I don't know. I'll be looking around. Um, but I guess we'll explore this, whatever this is. Because I don't think I've been down here. Ambush? No enemy. Weird. Wraith calling bell. Didn't, have I gotten one of those before? I feel like I have. What's that do? Well, it's not spirit calling bell. That's what was used to summon our phantoms to help us. What's wraith calling bell? That might be different. Ah, here it is. Uses FP to ring bell and calls prowling wraiths? Okay. Just a item that you can use to summon some things. Or uh, fire a spell or something like that. I don't think we'll need to mess with that. Man, the... Is that just the fire? Like the ashes from the Erd Tree? I think it is. That really affects everything. I really love how much the game changes as you progress through it. How much the landscape does. That's not that common. <laughs> That's not a very common or even very easy thing to do from a game development standpoint. And artists, environment artists, are very picky about lighting and the way things look in the environments that they design. And they'll go through and they'll specifically, when they're designing an area like this, They'll want to see what it looks like with in-game lighting, and they'll change the time- They'll go in-game, and they'll change the time of day to see how their end product looks at different times, and they'll put in more fog if they need to, they'll put in other effects- lighting effects if they need to, to make it look right. But when you have to- When, when you're making art for this whole game, and then you also have to consider then, what if the Erd Tree is on fire? How does the scene look then? Does it still look good? That's- extra work for the artists to make sure that everything still looks good in multiple states. So it's not a simple thing. It really isn't. Um, I don't know what this is, but we're going to use it. And I guess see where it teleports us to. I can't imagine it's a place I haven't already been, but maybe it is. Oh, we've, we've absolutely been here. Okay, so this... This took me all the way back here. This is not at all where I want to be. So, um, and also I didn't end up getting the warp point, so. Yeah, um, I'm heading back there. Going back and, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you when I find something again, I guess. Long way back. Alright, well, we found a side of grace. But nothing else so far. Cave ahead? What? Am I supposed to go that way? Okay, I found another side of grace. Boiled prawn shack. 
this person alive? He is. He does appear to be boiling prawns. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Uh, I guess I can't say anything. What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to start something? Piss off! Before I crack you in half. I don't think you'll be able to. What the hell is wrong with you? Piss off! Okay, so he doesn't care. I mean, I could kill him, but I don't know what the point would be. Is just some guy here baking, making prawns? Fortnite? What does this say? God ahead? Merchant, therefore try friendship? What? What are you talking about? How do I make friends with him, though? What the hell is wrong with you? You're trying to start something. Piss off. Okay, so I don't know what's up with him. But apparently that's not relevant. Alright, I think this is the relevant church. This doesn't seem like something I've seen before. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 12. What does that do? Cookbook 12. Cursed Blood Pot? Uh, how does that differ from a regular blood one? I don't know. Oops. I don't know what you are, but you're dead. He's clearly gonna do some kind of blood stuff to me. So since this is a church, there should be one of those things that, like a sacred tear, right? That's what they're called. Oh, so there's the NPC that I think I need to talk to. So that's good, he's here. And he's the guy who was at the very start of the game talking about how we were maidenless. We're not maidenless anymore though. We've come a long way since then. So we will talk to him. I just want to find the sacred tier, which should be here, right? All of them have had one so far. Normally it'd be like right over here. What's this say? Didn't expect weak foe. Okay, whatever. Let's just talk to the guy. If there's no sacred tier, then that's just sadness. But, oh well. There you are. Yep. <laughs> You've had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hold. Mm-hmm. What was your impression? Well, they're... Uh, aren't they all dead now? Uh... The two fingers don't seem right. That's true. They're, they're kind of weird. Aha. Uh -huh. Your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up. You see, the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. They were That's corrupted the when it broke? That irks the most. Okay, why 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 would the fingers be corrupted when the Elden Ring broke? See, there's there's connections here that I don't fully understand. One thing I really like about um, having done Ronnie's questline is I felt like I could understand it all. <laughs> I could follow where it was going. Uh, once I got to the end, I understood what was happening. Uh, kind of? <laughs> I can't say I fully understood it, but I kind of understood what was going on. But for the actual main storyline, I, I really still don't. So there, he was mentioning that maybe the two fingers got corrupted when the Elden Ring broke. Why would that be the case? Why are the, what are the two fingers at even? Like, what are they? Who are they? <laughs> what, whose fingers are they? And why were they connected to, if he's correct, why were they connected to the Elden Ring? And why would they get corrupted from the Elden Ring breaking? Are they like an avatar of the Elden Ring itself? Like, I... I don't understand. Please continue. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. Oh, festering blood. I already have one of those, but thanks. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. So he wants me to invade someone with that or something? Be sure to try that finger I gave you. 
There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? Wait, I, but I am a tarnished. Loyalties are misplaced with them. Okay, well, I guess he wants us to use that finger, so... Let me see. Yeah, that attempts invasion. So I guess I'm going to use it here. I'd imagine that... I'd imagine that a lot of people do invade right here because it gives it gives you it right here, so it should work, right? Although I know it can, like, it can teleport me all over the place, so... Okay, it is invading another world. Let's see how this goes. I'm, um... I don't know. <laughs> Last time I tried PvP, obviously I got stomped on by three people at once. Which is typical. Um, but... See how this one goes. So is that icon on the map him? Host of fingers invaded by what? What is he doing? Healing? All right, here we go. Ah, yeah, that didn't work too well. Well, I mean, that's about what I would have expected. At least the person didn't have three people around him. Using some kind of interesting lightning spears there that two-shotted me. Yeah, that's about what I would expect. Even all of my poise and armor didn't do anything at all. I think what I'm going to need to do, since I'm having to do PvP now, uh, it's forcing me to, kind of. And also, um, I don't think poise is going to be that important. And the shielding didn't help me nearly enough. I'm going to switch to light load. So I'll be taking off, I guess, the gloves. And I'll be lightening the armor. Uh, to what exactly, I wonder? Karian Knight. Godskin Apostle stuff? Sure. There we go. Now we're back to light load. Blood loss, equip load, physical damage. I don't think we're going to get as far as inflicting blood loss on somebody. So let's put on lightning damage negation. <laughs> I don't know. Just in case uh, we run into the same guy and he uses lightning damage on us again. All right. Let's try this again. Surely... We'll eventually win, right? Surely this won't be the hardest boss battle we've ever done. No, I'm sure it'll. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll eventually stunlock somebody and get a win, but we'll see. That time I tried to come in with that skill and I was too far away, and then the roll attack completely missed, but theirs did not. Okay. G G E Z is their name. Okay. Oh, where'd they go? They teleport. Hey. 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 I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. I forget. Okay, that's all I can do. Yeah, okay, that's about what I'd expect. Okay. I need to figure out how to emote. Because I cannot... I can't do it. <laughs> I need to remember how to do it. Darn it. Okay, so, before I come in to another match, I'll do that. It's unfortunate that, again, that they had a friend. That's a problem that... Souls game PvP has always had, but that's what the arena stuff is for, I guess. And I know that um, the game did recently get a DLC that added a, a, a some like PvP arena thing. So I guess invasions aren't really for honorable combat, but that's how it used to be back in the Demon Souls era. So yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Anyways, um, I'm gonna look through the controls again and figure out how it is that I actually emote. 
Okay, whatever. I'll just use the, um, I'll use the menu. <laughs> the actual pause menu to do it. It's fine. Well, we'll keep invading and eventually... <laughs> eventually you'll run to somebody who doesn't have friends and... I managed to stun lock, but it's gonna be difficult, I know. All right, well, there's somebody. Oh, well, he's already tossing stuff at me, huh? What? What is he trying to do? What? What? I don't know what's happening, but that was weird. I almost, I almost killed him, but suddenly lightning appeared? And also, the boss music is what really threw me off. What's with this sudden battle music? Is there is there PvP-specific battle music? I don't think I've ever... I don't think I ever noticed that before. Oh, well. That was a good chance for us to win, but we did not win. Also, I'm glad I put that on the lightning defense ring because we had to deal with more lightning. <laughs> so... Yeah, maybe I'll put back on my heavy armor again, though. It seems like everybody else is using rather heavy armor. Alright, we're eventually going to run out of these um, consumable ones. But I don't think that matters. I think it'll still, it'll still be fine. Although, I wonder if we even need to win a PvP match to talk to this guy. I guess we'll see. It seems like everybody has a lot of poise as well. That's probably why they're wearing so much heavy armor. So that they can't get stun locked by my attacks. So I think for PvP, I'd probably want a, a weapon set that'll do a lot of damage in a single hit. Because stun locking people doesn't seem too viable. At least not with the weapons I'm using right now. Alright, here we are back again. Well, looks like we got multiple people again. Hey. I think it's the same person again. A double team me last time. Yeah, oh no, it's a person with the double spears. I gotta understand that lag. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so... This guy did come in. Why? <laughs> Why? I thought we were having a duel, but I guess not. Now... I don't even know what to say. I think this is gonna be rough. All right, hello. Okay, so good. He doesn't need me to win. Oh my gosh. I don't know how much I'd say I'm enjoying it, honestly. I knew it from the very start. You have a taste for noble blood. I wish to anoint you a proper inductee. Inductee? Okay. To serve luminary Moog. Luminary Moog? And establish a new dynasty. I don't know if I want to serve him. Rogue has strength, vision, and of course, love. I don't need his so, love. What do you say, my lambkin? Uh, for the sake of the the quest, sure. Hmm. Yes. Who would have it any other way? Now, take this. Lord of Blood's favor. A white piece of cloth. Oh, I can't look at it. Fine. Soak the cloth with a maiden's blood. Normally, Ooh. this ritual would involve killing one's own <laughs> maiden and recanting the wisdom of the two fingers. But since you are maidenless, the blood of anyone's maiden 
will do. Okay, so I have to kill someone's maiden? Uh, who is an option? Because I don't know of anyone's maiden. Have I ever seen anybody else's maiden? I don't recall. All right, I don't know what that means. So, uh, is the can he can he give me a hint? The cloth is your final trial. Soak it with the blood of a maiden. The blood of anyone's maiden. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let me take a look at that item real quick. I guess. Is there anything special about it? Pure white oath cloth given by Var, or Vare, how, however it's pronounced. The final trial to be anointed by a knight of Moog, lord of blood. Soak the cloth to the maiden's blood, the blood of anyone's maiden made to you, you're maidenless after all. Yeah. Okay, so, I don't know whose maiden exists, so, um, I guess it's, uh, I guess it's onward to looking it up for me. So, I just found out something very interesting. So for this next step in the quest, we have three options. Um, you can get Maiden's Blood from two corpses, um, or you can go and kill an NPC. Now, the interesting thing that I found is that you travel to... It, the, the corpses are in one of two churches. You either go to the Church of Anticipation or the Church of Inhibition. Now, I don't remember what the Church of Inhibition is, but Church of Anticipation? Wasn't this... Isn't this wasn't that this place? Doesn't this, doesn't this place have anticipation in its name? I believe it did. I remember making a comment in my very first video about how something was aptly named for being called something of anticipation. And I think that was over here. So that's also something that I mentioned last episode that I wanted to do was try to get back over here. So let's do that. Let's go with that option. So I'm going to look into it further, see how it is we get back to the Church of Anticipation if that is indeed this place. I haven't talked to this guy in a while. Let me talk to him. Oh, there you are. Good of you to drop by. That's been Have a while. Heard? Lady Rani has departed on her journey. I know about it. the dark path of Empyrean, from Rena's rise, as she calls it. It would not have been possible without you. As Lady Rani's war counselor. Ooh, he's the war counselor. Moreover, her childhood warden, I express my deepest gratitude. You and only you were Lady Rani's true champion. What happened to the other champions though? What about the Wolfman or whatever he was and the other sus guy? I don't know. Anything else to say? My purpose is nearing its end. I've served Lady Rani for as long as I can remember. It has been a long and wondrous journey. Now Lady Rani is in your hands. I pray that you serve her well. And to the very end. The end of what? If we're gonna be living in the stars, do we just not die there? Until the end of time? Alright. I don't think there's anything for that I need to buy. Um, but I'm supposed to go to something called the Four Belfries? In this, somewhat in this area? Somewhere around here. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep looking around for that. Whatever that means. Never mind, I had it all wrong. It's, uh, over here that I need to be. But also, there's this, um, Ur tree, The minor Ur tree over here that I don't think we've ever been to. Okay, that died real quick. So there's obviously gonna be an Ur tree demon. And since there's an Ur tree demon, let's go kill it. It'll give us another option for our upgrading, or for our, like, buffing flask thing, right? This one. So, yeah, let's do this. Hello. Bird tree avatar. Oh man, you take damage. Holy crap, you're dead. Yep, you're very dead, buddy. I'm sorry. Yep, wow. <laughs> Clearly should have been here earlier. Um, yep. Yep. Alright, Cerulean Crystal Tear and Ruptured one. Okay, so let's take a look at those.
Okay, so this one restores half of total FP and okay, interesting. And then the other one is causes concoction to explode. What? A crystal tear formed solely over the ages where the Erd tree's bounty falls to the ground. Can be mixed blah 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 blah. Cause a defective crystal tear which possesses absolutely no medicinal qualities. A lesson said to be learned the hard way for some. Faith can be a volatile matter after all. So this, does this just kill me? <laughs> Is that all that that does? I feel like that's all that that does. That's kind of funny. Um, this one is actually not bad. Um, it allows me to basically get half of another regular flask, which might be better than the buffs that the thing the thing normally gives, because it'll allow me to use my blood blade thing a few times. So I might actually use that. Um, or maybe not, because it will incentivize me to keep using that skill, and I feel like I try to rely on those skills too much when I probably most of the time shouldn't even be using them at all. So in, a, in an effort to not get myself killed, maybe it's best to hold off on that. Um, anyways, I'll continue on my journey north from here. Oh, another one of these things. Okay, considering how easily that um, Erdtree demon died, I have a feeling this is not gonna be too difficult. So, let's just obliterate whatever this is. Karian Knight Bulls. And yeah, this, like, this guy hasn't stands no chance. I'm sorry. Sorry, dude. This would have been an interesting fight if I had fought you earlier, maybe? What do you do, at least? Let's see his moves. You know, gotta give him a chance. Okay. You know, he's got some swords that fire when you get close to him. Pretty nice. Alright, let's uh, get him to half HP. Alright, what are you gonna do now? Okay, you got a you got a slam, pretty slow. I feel like, whoa, that that was a hard one to dodge. But I feel like a slow slow bosses like this, they're never gonna be that hard, no matter ooh, no matter how crazy they are, because of the fact that they're so slow. And he pulls it out. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, that one's good. That one was what would kill me if I was fighting this boss without being overpowered. That attack I know would mess me up a lot. I'd try to dodge it, and it just won't allow me to dodge it. All right, so great blade, great blade phalanx. Oh, oh, it's warping me out of there. Right, we'll take a peek at that. Obviously, it's another spell, and spells are not something that we use in this playthrough. Uh, where is it at? Here it is. Um, forms a defensive arch of larger magic glint blades. One of the sorceries of the Kari and royal family. Creates a defensive arch of larger magic glint blades overhead, which automatically attack nearby foes. Used by the enchanted troll knights. They were one- they were the comrades of the young Renala, bound by oath. Okay. Cool. Let's keep on going. This is definitely a part of the uh, the map that I just have not explored at all. Oh. Oh, we've... We ran into singing people before. Where was it again? Well, you're not singing anymore. I forget where we s heard that earlier. Because I definitely recognize that singing. Oh, yeah, it was in some area with a bunch of flying people. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Our destination is, is in sight, though. I think it's up there. We need to apparently get to the four belfries. And then we need to use a key or something to activate it. And then we'll warp. I, I See, I would never have understood. I never would have found this. That that would, like, uh, something over here would warp me way over there. Not what I would have thought at all, so. Hooray for uh, the internet to let me know how I can do all this stuff, not miss anything. Okay, 
So we've arrived at the four belfries. Now, I don't know exactly what I do here, but I'm assuming this has something to do with something. Imbued. Okay, I don't have an imbued sword key. That's apparently what I need next. So let me go look for a side of grace. So I can warp back here when I need to. And then, <laughs> then I'll go look up where the heck I get an imbued sword key from. Uh, okay, I, assume, I guess I need one for each of these. So maybe multiple imbued sword keys? Maybe? Okay, good. Side of grace. Wait, what's this? Don't tell me there's an imbued sword key right here. That would be kind of weird. Okay! <laughs> Apparently there's an imbued sword key right there. So it looks- it looked like a regular stone sword key. What's the difference? Obviously that it's imbued, but imbued with what? So that would be a key item for sure. All right, unseal sending gate, but disappears upon use. Um, a special item imbued with rich blue magic. Breaks the seal on the imp statues guarding the sending gates enshrined at each belfry, but remains embedded into the statue after use, meaning can only be used once as an item. Think well before using one. Well, I don't even know which one. <laughs> Hopefully we get multiple of them at some point. Um, so let me see, which one do we need? Uh, the first one... Oh, it tells you, apparently, next to them. It says, Crumbling Lands, which teleports me to part of Crumbling Farm Azula. Okay. Then the second one is the one that tells, brings me to the chapel. The third one brings me to Nokron. So, could we have gotten here and then gotten to Nokron as an alternate way? Or maybe we wouldn't have been able to progress Ronnie's quest line, I'm sure, but... And then the fourth one... House is a chest containing another one? Another imbued sword key? What? So, so the fourth one doesn't do anything? What? That's kind of funny. It just gives you another key. Um, well, I would hope that there are multiple imbued sword keys in, in the world somewhere. But let's read the thing to make sure that we're going into the wrong, the right one. Um, strong foe ahead. Night sky unceasing. So that's got to be Nokron. So then this one must be... The one I'm looking for. Precipice of Anticipation. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Hopefully this is worth it. In we go. Chapel of Anticipation. Got some- oh! <sighs> Of course, of course that would- You know, this game actually hasn't done a lot of that. So, I can't be too mad. But I am kind of mad. And also, I didn't really lose any, like, progress or runes or anything from that, but... Oh my gosh. Feels like I'm playing, um, felt like I'm playing a Mario Maker level. And I just got trolled. All right, let's try that again, I guess. <laughs> uh, I guess those butterflies are just not gonna be worth it, huh? Yeah, they're completely out of reach now. Jeez. Should I put a message here? I haven't put a message ever, have I? Let me, let me do that. Let me put an actual message. To prevent other people from falling into the same trap as I just did. There we go. Be wary of trap. Very simple message. Hopefully somebody sees that and doesn't fall to the same fate as I did. There we go. Oh, and looks like we're greeted with a boss immediately. Well, wonderful. I don't anticipate having too much issue with this, considering the last two bosses we just faced um which is kind of unfortunate also it's this guy again yeah it's a bit unfortunate that we're fighting this thing so late into the game but that's just how elden ring is, is because of being an open world game you can fight things in any order you could skip things if you want to but it is part of what's great about it 
So I'm sorry, Grafted Scion. Oh, well, actually, no, you know what? I'm not sorry. This is totally fine because last time this guy fought me, I was the one who was underpowered and weak. And he was, this thing was the one that was overpowered. And it was a jerk. It didn't care at all. It completely obliterated me. It didn't, it didn't wait for me to, to see my moves or anything. So you know what? I don't feel bad at all at, at completely obliterating this. But let me look at its design a little bit. It's got, it's because it's got like an actual human head on it. I realize that now. All right, well, whatever. You're dead. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you don't you don't get any mercy. I'm sorry. Ornamental straight sword and golden beast crest shield. So what is the ornamental straight sword? Let's take a look at these things. Uh, where am I going? Here. Ornamental straight sword. Slender straight sword patterned after an antique ornament. Superior swordsmen prefer to wield one in each hand. Is this... No, this isn't what that guy was using against me. It's gotta be something else. After falling from grace, dregs of the golden lineage sought power and purpose in the past. Crossed the two swords to grant their attacks holy essence. While in effect, strong attack performs a dual wielding combo attack. So you're supposed to get two of these weapons, but do you need two playthroughs to get two of these weapons? Or could you do it in one? Is there another one somewhere? I guess we'll see. Well, maybe we won't see, but... Okay. It's actually a dexterity uh, scaling weapon. Which is interesting. That means it's something I could potentially use. Uh, oh, I was trying to use the horse. It didn't work, obviously. Alright, so this is all just boss area, right? Nothing else to see here? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, nothing, hi nothing hidden. Alright, then let's retrace our steps. Head back into the actual chapel area that we started the game in. See if there's anything there waiting for us. I wonder if it's possible to like lay summon signs here. Probably not. That would be kind of weird. Jump. And this is where people just fall to their deaths. Much different sight here than there was before. A lot of clouds. Okay, well, we made it back. <laughs> oh, here we go. Is this the corpse? Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Interesting, that's not a, um, that's not a player message. And I think that was always there, that message? But was this maiden always there? I don't know. Huh. Alright, well, um, that's less actually here than I was expecting there to be. But at least that finishes our mission. So we can head back to the Rhodes Church, church and talk to the guy again. Um, unfortunately I don't have any warp point that, that that's too close by so I'll just make my way there and I'll see you guys when I get there all right we are back ah, my lambkin. <laughs> lambkin don't call me you lambkin your final trial and with this you are a formal inductee a knight who will assist luminary Moog the Lord of Blood in the establishment of a new dynasty Cool, now, I guess? Give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles inside of you. I don't want anything inside of me. But I offer finger? Ugh. What is he gonna do? Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. I don't know what he did, but I don't like it. New bloody finger? Is that our finger? Or like did he cut off our finger? I don't think so. Never forget that feeling of agony. For it is what binds you to luminary moog, to all of us. <laughs> I don't know if I want it to be binding us. You have the sweetest scream, my lambkin. Is it? 
I kind of want to kill this guy. <laughs> kind of want to, kind of want to forget the whole quest line and just kill him. Attempts invasion of other players' worlds. So it's the same thing as the recusant finger. So attempts invasion of the other players' world. It successfully revives an invader. Recusant with the invader bloody finger with the objective of defeating the host of fingers. Okay, so just different titles. Glistening blood has been siphoned into the nail of this finger. So he put blood into my nails? Its sickly pale skin feels nothing now, but the nail still aches with sweetest pain. Ugh. Oh, another thing. You should have this. Do I want it? Do I, I don't know if I want whatever you're gonna give me. Pure Blood Knight's Medal. A medal granted by the new Moguin Dynasty. With the power to grant audience with Luminary Moog, I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. Can we but you find him and kill him? Just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin Dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. We must endure a little longer. Uh huh. So, is that a key item, or what? Or is that a... Talisman. Not a talisman. He says I mustn't use it just yet, but I can use it now. Audience with Moog will be granted one day. Did I just use it right now? So, I have two options. I could either use it right now, or I could go look at the guide to figure out if I should use it right now. But you know what? I'm going to use it right now. Go to the audience grounds. Yes. I'm using it right now. I don't care what he says. I'm using it immediately. Mogwin Palace. I'm not going to wait for whatever nonsense he's talking about. I don't know who this person is, but I don't like them already. They made me suffer through dying to, like, uh, invaders multiple times. Oh, wait, is this underground? This is near Nokron. Oh, this is, this is that. I know this. I, I wanted to get over here for a while. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm glad we're getting over here. I'm glad I did not miss this. I'm glad I have very helpful commenters letting me know cool things like this that I might miss. Obviously, I can't, I'm not gonna 100% the entire game, but a whole extra area? Yeah, I'm gonna wanna play that. Although, this seems like a pretty small area. But, it seems like there's probably a boss at the end of this area, I would imagine. Oh, don't do that. Don't be exploding into mist. Get out, get out, get out! Uh, okay. Weird that mist <laughs> can make me bleed. <laughs> How does that work? How do I get caused to bleed by like a bunch of red mist? Is it, is it sucking out my blood or something? Is it corrosive? Is it opening up like holes in my body? I don't know. You guys aren't very, oh, not very deadly. There's just a ton of them. I don't know if I even want to fight them, to be honest. But I feel like I'm gonna have to, if I want to explore. Alright, let's do it this way. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna end up bleeding here. But that's okay. Yep. Oh, that didn't actually do that much. What the heck? I thought ble bleed would do a lot more to me. I was under the impression it would take away, like, at least 30% of my health, if not more. Probably more like 40%. But it only took away maybe 25%. Might, maybe not even that. It might be just as 20%. Hey, no, it looks like, mm, looks like a little bit less than a fourth.
Yeah, I feel like I could take another one of those and not die. I mean, I could test it, but I'm not gonna test it. All right, let's just ignore these guys. Oh my gosh, there's way, yeah, there's way too many of them. Forget this. Give me that Newman's rune. I don't think I've ever heard that before, Newman's rune. We've had like Lord runes and whatnot, but Newman's? Who the heck is Newman? Also, hello, whatever this is. <clears throat> yeah, I'm guessing I need to get past this. I'm just gonna tank the blood loss. Because honestly, it's not a big deal. There we go. I'm assuming it gets to explode into mist again. Uh, okay, there's a whole area to explore down there. This actually is kind of big. Launching boluses. Okay, they're not even attacking me. I didn't even realize that. They, but they don't. They don't actually care. So I, I maybe I just shouldn't be attacking them. I'm sure a few of them do. Yep, a few of them attack me, but not all of them. Some of them are just kind of angry, but not all. So I'll just leave them be. What does it say? Praise the something? Yeah, I don't know what it is they're praising, but... Yeah, I agreed. Praise the something. Taking on all at once? No, no thanks. Alright, Blood Rose. Visions of Light, huh? Okay. Look carefully. Looking for traps. Okay, make sure we healed up. Let's try locking on. No? <clears throat> Whatever's happening, I don't like it. Uh, hello. We'll take this first. Whoa, that hurts. Okay, all right, this one's this one's a real person, but it's just a regular enemy. It's not a boss. Okay, whoever you were, you're kind of deadly. Okay, item is over here, so item first. What's gonna attack me when I get over here? I think Lord's Rune. Okay, let's take a look at this stuff. Hold on a second. What was Newman's Rune? Because we got one of those. Uh, The Newman are said to have come from outside the lands between and are in fact of the same stock as Queen Marika herself. Still don't really understand who Queen Marka even is, to be honest. I know there was someone that was like strung up on like a part of the Elden Ring and it broke and I, I don't know, there's all sorts of weird stuff that I still don't fully get. Uh, so I know I do have, hold on a second, necessary item ahead, that's, that's good to know. But, isn't there, yeah. There we go, that will help. So, where's this necessary item? It better not be that glove wart. But I feel like it is. Yeah, it probably is. Great ghost glove wart. Okay, well, thanks, I guess. But that's really not what I wanted. I'm glad I remembered that I had a lamp. First stop behind, okay. Yeah, let's go find the... Oh, one of you again. Oh no, this is gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh no, oh no, okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, fortunately, they didn't decide a combo. All right. 
No problem. Blood Rose. Good thing stone. Yeah, okay. So let me head back real quick. There was music coming from a direction. So let's check out that first. Strong foe? It's just a merchant. Well, I don't know what he's doing here, but... <laughs> Why is this person here? <laughs> How much customers is he getting in the place? Oh, he's imprisoned. Okay. Poor, poor, poor guy. Um, what do we want here? Anything? I mean, I guess I could purchase your stone sword keys. I already have like 10 of them, but yeah, might as well. No, that was fine. I don't think we'll ever need all those stone sword keys, considering I already have 10 of them, but it's nice to have them. Out of stamina. I don't know what he's doing. He's changing stances and I don't want him to parry me. Yep. I knew he wanted to do that. I just couldn't prevent it. Okay, there we go. Just, just mash him to death. Yeah, weird <laughs> to find a merchant in the middle of nowhere like this. Poor imprisoned guy. I'd like to get him out of here, but I don't think that's an option. All right, let's move on. Oh, where is he now? Where do you appear? Oh, he's right there. Okay. I don't like that these guys keep appearing. Well, that stunned him, so that's nice. Ooh, I'm glad that didn't hit me somehow. Wait, no, it, it is. It does stuff to the floor. Okay, we're getting to the exit here. Bastard ahead. Well, we found the side of Grace, so that's good. Now then, let me see here. We came from there. We've went in some weird other underground place, and now we're here. Still haven't went through any of that lake area. Uh, okay, a lot of whatever those are. A lot of fire. Message, yep. There's a message. This is clearly an elevator. Do I want to look at the Do I want to use the elevator or do I want to fight whatever? <laughs> look at its face. Got a both ugly and cute face at the same time. Mostly I would say ugly though. I don't like it. Bye. I don't know what you are, but... Oh my gosh, you got rolling ones. Okay, this is bad. Rolling enemies are bad. That's not good. Heal up. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have attacked them at all. Heal up. Fortunately, that like ranged attack that they're using, the porcupine thing. Isn't very strong. Also, I noticed they're wearing chainmail armor, so slash attacks probably aren't as effective against them, but it doesn't matter. Okay. There we go. Now, was it worth it to fight them? Let's see. What are you? Oh, that's what you are. No! Thank goodness it's not doing like a one-shot move on me after that. Because it totally could. If it wanted to, I'm sure. 
Aha! You're stuck in the corner, which means I win. Okay. Well. Now, ex what exactly did that get us? It get us, got us a chest. Which has... Please don't be a great ghost glove word. Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. That's actually good. Because if we ever do want to level up a different special special weapon, we can. And we do have that other special katana. Which didn't seem to be better than my other options. But it's still very possible that I'm wrong. In fact, it's still pretty likely that I'm wrong about that. So if we ever do want to level um, another weapon up to level 10, we can. That was good. That was worth it. So now we have less flasks than normal. And we're clearly going into a boss, boss. And we also have a lot of runes. And I also have items, multiple items that give me a lot of runes. So what I think I'm going to do is warp back to here. And then we're going to use our rune consumables. So that would be this gigantic one. And then the other one as well, probably. There we go. And then we're going to level up. We need a tiny, tiny bit more. It's 300 more souls or runes. There we go. That's enough. And we level. And now the question is what? Uh, endurance is possible. But that gives us one attack. Gives us two. Do I want two attack or do I want more endurance? Or do I want more health? I say we get endurance at 35. Say hey, that's the thing to do next. And then next we'll get our arcane to 40. And then after that, I don't know. I think we've, we're kind of reaching the limits of our damage output at this point. So I don't know what else we can do at this point other than just boosting endurance and maybe boosting HP, but I would really love most of all to get another sacred tier so that our flasks can actually keep up because they, they can't, they just can't. All right, let's see what we've got.